Oh my god, Becky, look at that equation. I like big equations and I cannot lie. <laughs> I'm just kidding around. Welcome to another episode of the Method Man Productions. This one is going to cover multi-step equations. From now on, every time you see an equation, you should always be telling yourself, how can I make this question easier for myself? How can I make it shorter? That's my whole goal. Start where the variable is. It's on the left side, F. So once again, ask yourself, is there any possible way on the left side to make this problem a little shorter? You're looking at this negative 3 next to a parenthesis. So just recall, when a number's next to a parenthesis, it's probably multiplication, right? This is really just the distributive property hidden within the problem. Negative 3 times 4f, that's a negative 12f. Negative 3 times a negative 100, look at that negative, that's with that 100. That's a positive 300. Anything you didn't touch just drops down. The 5 drops down, so does this negative 295. So the second line is way simpler and shorter than what I began with, but there is still some ways that I can make it even shorter. Concentrating on the left, if you look, there are two terms that are alike, this 5 and this 300. So combine like terms, 305 minus 12f equals negative 295. Still concentrating on my left side. There's nothing I can do to make this any shorter. And now let's move to the right. Negative 295, that's just what it is. I can't make that any shorter. So now I'm left with a two-step equation. Something way simpler than what I started out with. Solve it regularly as you would. 305 is on this side. Get rid of it by subtracting 305 on both sides. These cancel out. You're left with negative 12f equals negative 600. Finally, we're left with a one-step equation. All you gotta do is finish it off by dividing both sides by negative 12. And we get our answer as f equals 50. Yeah. Just like my favorite rapper. Example 2. Once again, and I'm getting a little repetitive here, check both sides to make sure that you can simplify anything before you start the problem. Taking a look at it, there's M's on both sides. So I'm just going to start this way because there's more M's on the right. 3m minus 10m. Is there any way that I can make that shorter? Well, they both have m's on it, so you can probably combine like terms. 3m minus 10m is just a negative 7m. I can't do anything else with that, so I'm going to look on the left side. 2 next to a set of parentheses. Ding, ding, ding. Distributive property. Distribute the 2. 2 times negative 3m is negative 6m. 2 times 4 is a positive 8. Since I want m on the right side, let's gather all my m terms on the right. I want to move this negative 6m by adding a 6m to both sides. So let's just calculate things. Negative 6m plus 6m those cancel out, an 8 drops down, we didn't touch it, and a negative 7m plus 6m is just a negative 1m. You're almost done with the problem, this is not yet solved. Final step is to divide by negative 1. 8 divided by negative 1 is just negative 8 equals m. I'm going to leave you off with this last example. 
This one's a little tricky, but if you get this one, I think you're the, I'm going to call you the master of equations. Please pause the video and the question is that you're solving for y. The tricky part here is that there's x's and y's, but I think you got this. Try it out. When you have completed the problem, just hit play to check your answer. Here is the answer. Y equals 1.625. Probably asking, when the heck are we going to ever use this in real life? You know what? I don't know the answer to that, but here's one. You got to pass your algebra class. Let me point out the tricky part right here. There were two letters, but you were solving for Y. And if you use the distributive property in the beginning, right here, you get negative 12x plus 16y. The 12x just drops down, and look, something magical happens. Negative 12x plus 12x, those cancel each other out. So I could try to throw you guys off, but I think you got it. If you were confused, you can always rewind and try the problem again. And last but not least, please subscribe to Method Man 20 for more free math lessons.